Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my hair. I'm going to show you guys what products I use, um, how I style it on a day-to-day -day basis. I am going to show you guys four hairstyles. They are really similar to one another. They all include buns. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show you guys some cute and easy ways to style your hair when it is short. All these hairstyles I did do with straight hair, but they also look really cute with curly hair. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I style my hair, what products I use, and a couple of cute hairstyles you can do um, if your hair is short. Okay, so to begin, my hair is already pretty wet. Um, I just got out the shower. I did let it air dry just a little bit because I don't like to completely dry my hair with the blow dryer. So while I was doing my makeup, I was letting my hair air dry. So my first step is I always go in with It's a 10 as soon as I get out the shower. This is just a really good leave-in conditioner. It's the one thing I never forget to do. And then I'm just going to comb it out so that all the product distributes throughout my hair really well distributes is that the right word this has really helped keep my hair healthy especially since i've been lightening lightening it so much lightening ever since i've been bleaching it so much um i i am in the process of going lighter so this just really makes sure my hair is nice and healthy and getting all the good stuff that it needs. So for the next step, I am gonna blow dry my hair. There is one more product I like to use in my hair when it is wet, and it is the Redken Frizz to Smith um, Anti-Static Oil Mist. If you have really thick hair and it's really frizzy, I recommend using anything from the Redken um, Frizz to Smith line. All of the products are really good. I even like to apply this once my hair is straightened just to smooth everything out. So yes, I am gonna go in with a little bit. I'm just going to comb it out again so that the product goes throughout my whole hair. And now I'm just going to blow dry my hair. I don't do anything specific. I don't use a brush to blow dry my hair because I don't have the patience. I just try to blow it dry as quickly as possible. Alright, so um, even if my hair is not 100% dry, that's okay. I'm going to start sectioning, sectioning it off so I can straighten it. And as I section it, I'll just go in with the blow dryer first. Okay, so now I'm going to straighten my hair. This part is really self-explanatory. I think we all know how to straighten our hair. I'm just going to make it straight. I'm not going to like bend the ends in or anything. And the straightener I'm using is the Infinite Pro by Conair. It looks like this. I always thought I was going to look kind of boyish with really short hair, but I actually feel the complete opposite. I feel really girly and cute with my short hair. I'm going to do one more section. I am going to show you guys in a separate video how I curl my hair. I just didn't want to damage it too much by straightening it and then curling it. I just wear it straight a lot more often than I do curly. how it looks when I put it to the side it's really cute you can tuck it behind one ear and this is one super quick and easy hairstyle you can do when your hair is short so this is how I would style my hair as soon as I wash it I wouldn't really put it up or anything like that just because it's clean and I want to take advantage of the fact that it's clean once my hair starts getting a little dirty I like to put it in some kind of bun and this is like my go-to hairstyle with this short hair that I have especially when I want to do something that's not this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my hair back and I'm going to take a section right above, starting right above my ears. I'm not going to take any of these hairs. I'm going to leave these down just so they can frame my face. And I will go in and straighten these pieces a little better because I didn't get them that good the first time around. And 
I am not super precise with this at all. For the most part, I'm in a rush when I'm doing this hairstyle anyways, but this hairstyle works out really well once your hair starts getting greasy too, because the top part is what gets greasy first and the bottom still looks pretty good for the most part. So I'm gonna use these small elastics that I have. And I like to use these just because they're a lot less noticeable than like a scrunchie is, especially when your hair is short. And I'm just gonna, oh, let me move this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna do a little bun, just like that. And I know it looks crazy, but I'm actually gonna go in with another scrunchie or another little elastic, and I'm gonna fix it. And I find this so much easier to do with elastics than with bobby pins. With bobby pins, I'm here like all day trying to pin my hair. And usually I go in with like three of these. Try not to keep these in your hair for too long because when you pull them out, it can kind of break your hair. These aren't the best for your hair, these elastics. So I try not to like sleep with them on because for a while I was having a really bad habit of doing that. And I am gonna put a bobby pin just right here on the front. This is a lot harder to do when your hair is clean as well. So I wouldn't do this with my hair being this clean works out a lot easier when your hair is dirty. So I'm just going to go in and straighten a couple of these pieces. This is how I wear my hair 99% of the time to work. When I first cut my hair, I was washing it every other day until I started playing with some hair cells to make it last a little bit longer. Now I do wash my hair about every three days, sometimes every two days if I do have something to do. So now I'm going to take this out and show you guys the next hairstyle. Every hairstyle that I show you guys has some sort of bun. I mean, that's just what I do to my hair. But yeah, I do like the buns, the space buns. I think they're super cute. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is a space bun. So let me take out all this stuff for my hair. All right, so we're just going to brush our hair out. And I'm going to part my hair right down in the middle. With the space buns, I'm actually gonna take hair starting from the top of my ear. I'm gonna go back and pick up this whole section. I'm not gonna leave any hair down here like I did with the first bun that I did. And I'm actually gonna tie this and make a little pigtail first before I make the bun. I just find it easier that way. So you really wanna just smooth your hair back. I do have smoothing cream that I like to use. Um, but I'm not going to put that in my hair just because it's really clean right now. And I'm probably just going to end up wearing it down and straight today. I just wanted to show you guys these hairstyles. Right, so now that we have these two pigtails and you look crazy, I'm going to make my little buns. So I just kind of twist this around and then I grab another little elastic and I tie it off. You can use bobby pins too, I just find it easier to use elastics. And then same thing on this side gonna twist it a little bit and then wrap it around and I'm like so sloppy and messy with this I have like no patience to do my hair <laughs> but it doesn't it really doesn't have to be perfect at all I feel like the messier a bun looks the cuter it is anyways so and sometimes I do need to go in with bobby pins just to like secure any hairs that fly out since my hair is short, I do have a lot of shorter pieces that kind of don't want to fit into a bun. So yeah. Alrighty guys, this is the second look. I love this one. I do this one really often too. Once I'm like tired of having that one bun on my head, I just split it into two. <laughs> and yeah, this one's just really cute. Um, you can never go wrong with buns or space buns in general. I think they just look so adorable. So I'm going to show you guys two more looks and these are basically the same exact thing as I just showed you. They're just going to incorporate a braid. So I'm going to just take these buns out and then show you the last two looks. For this hairstyle, it is a little bit harder. Um, I'm going to try my best to explain 
but I've tried to teach people how to do braids before and I just I'm, I'm no good at explaining that I can explain makeup but hair is like a whole nother it's a whole nother thing for me so I'm gonna try to get here a little close so you guys can really see so I'm gonna grab from like the high points of my eyebrows I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pick up a section so the section I picked up is like about this big um is that like an inch I don't know so I guess like an inch of hair and I'm going to split it in three and I'm going to start braiding. So with the Dutch braid, you want to take the outside pieces and bring them underneath of the middle piece. Um, with the French braid, you bring the pieces over the middle piece and with the Dutch braid, you bring the pieces underneath. Once I do like one regular braid, I'm going to start picking up hair from the side and doing the same thing. So you just pick up a little bit of hair and add it onto the braid you're doing. Like I said, I suck at explaining this and I actually really suck at these braids in general. My freaking fingers start to cramp up. But a good tip is to pick up little pieces of hair as you add on. Don't want to pick up too much hair and it just looks prettier that way. so cute with long hair too when I had longer hair I would do this to my hair all the time as well it's just really cute and I kind of suck at braids I'm not the best I don't think you have to be all that good at braids to do this um, so yeah moving on to the last hairstyle I'm going to start by parting my hair down in the middle this doesn't have to be perfect but yeah so then I'm gonna start doing two braids like the ones I showed you guys earlier um, these are Dutch braids like I was saying you take the outside pieces and bring them underneath the middle piece each time adding a little bit more hair Running. Once I finish the braid, I'm just going to tie it off and make a little pigtail and we will worry about making the buns later. So now I'm going to move on to the buns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my hair and then wrap it around the elastic. Once I do that, I'm going to grab another elastic and tie it off. You can use bobby pins, but I do find it much easier to use elastics.
you so much for watching. Um, I hope this gave you guys a little bit of inspiration, helped you guys out if you have short hair. Even if you have long hair, I feel like these hairstyles would be super cute. Hopefully you guys learned something new today and you try out these hairstyles. They are so easy to do. Once you get down the braids, I feel like there's so many options of hairstyles you can do. A braid just makes any simple hairstyle look so much cuter and a little bit more complex, even though it's not. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy to do. My fingers cramp up a lot when I braid, but if it wasn't for that, I would be braiding my hair every single day. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!